families and victims and people who worked here who were feeling frustrated because they couldn't get in touch with their loved ones and their loved ones couldn't get in touch with them all because of the FedEx cell phone workplace policy. In the minutes after the, the hours after that shooting happened a year ago, we checked in with FedEx about its policy just to see what safety measures were in place and why employees weren't allowed to have their cell phones with them at the time. A year later, we check in with FedEx again to see if that policy has changed, if at all. That night, gunshots gave way to panic, which gave way to chaos. No one really knew what was going on, who was okay and who was not. I hope God that he's not injured and I hope a whole lot of other people are not injured either, but we don't know. I just hope to God he's okay. Employees were unable to contact friends and family since FedEx policy prohibited workers from having their phones on the production floor. In the hours after the tragedy, FedEx sent WRTV a statement explaining why, saying, quote, to minimize potential distractions while around package sortation equipment and dock operations, cell phone access within certain areas of FedEx ground field operations is limited to authorized team members. Most employees' phones were in their lockers that night. It's been crazy hectic. No one knows anything. Which left so many people stuck in the unknown since workers scrambled to evacuate the facility, leaving their phones behind and locked up. You can't have your phone here, period, like for any reason, unless you're a manager or you have like a green sticker on your badge. Nadia McGraw is currently a package handler for FedEx. She understands the rules governing cell phone restrictions at FedEx facilities when it comes to safety. It's very noisy in the building. Um, and you can't really hear people if you have like an earbud in or if you're listening to music or you're on your phone. And if you see like a hazmat go by, you can't really catch it if you're on your phone. Following the shooting, there were calls for FedEx to make adjustments to its cell phone policy. Suggestions included letting workers carry their phones on their person and allowing smaller devices like the Apple Watch. Nadia says she'd rather keep her phone nearby just in case. Yes, very much so. To tell my loved ones I'm okay or contact police or 911. We requested to meet with FedEx management to discuss changes, if any, to the company's cell phone policy. FedEx declined an on-camera interview, but did issue a statement saying in part, quote, We do not publicly disclose details of our security protocols, but have a number of measures in place designed to keep our people safe, including physical security procedures, as well as workplace violence awareness and prevention measures. We regularly assess our security programs and processes to identify any potential enhancement opportunities. This includes our cell phone policy, which is based on workplace safety considerations. I prefer to have my phone with me for safety reasons. Federal regulations say employers can impose restrictions on production and manufacturing floors. The National Labor Relations Act states employees have the right to use their personal phones during breaks and away from restricted areas. You can have it in a locker, but it's locked up. So you can have it on break, you just can't bring it inside the facility past security guard. Well, FedEx's cell phone policy may be unchanged now, but we have learned the company has ramped up security at all of its properties in the area. And Nicole, one of the new features that we're seeing out here today is this black fence and gate around the property.